Hey guys. Hey. Hey. Do you guys know Hopang? Yeah. Right? Like he's a character. Hopang man. Yeah. No idea. I do, vaguely. I thought it was that thing you buy at the convenience store, the hot bar, but that's not it, right? I don't actually know. What is it? The way those are the things that are like yeah. spinning in the yeah. machine. I've really seen it. I have never tried it, but, but I've it, seen it. So you're now going to try red bean paste hoppa. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh, I've never had this it's before. It's so squishy. <laughs> right, let, let's let's go in. Um. Okay. The paper is really stuck. Oh, this smells good. This reminds me of um chow su bao, so like the Chinese dumplings but it has like sweet pork in it. So whenever I see something like this, I expect it to have meat inside. Why no meat? Here's a paper. Uh, ready? Cheers. Cheers. Done. Done. One big bite, right? Um. Korean red bean paste <laughs> is good. Not the other pot. This. It's obviously really sweet, and but I just don't like the feel of it. It's like mushrooms. I'm Mexican American, so our beans are not sweet. Mm. So this is really shocking that there's sweet beans inside bread. We'll eat bread with beans, but just not sweet beans. So is this is this green tea? Is this edible? That's um vegetable flavor. Why is, yeah, it it could be okay. Why is it green? Because <laughs> it's vegetables. Vegetables are green. Can you tell it that it is vegetable because it's green? <laughs> How do we do this? The, the, first thing paper off. the paper is sticky. Okay. So like, it's gonna be chewy. Okay, let's try it. Ah, burning, burning. This goes better with the bread. With beans, better. Nope, I'm going for the yache. This is so good. It's really squishy. It's like a Korean hamburger. Mm. Really good. Oh my gosh. It's a little bit spicy too. I like that. Mm -hmm. The taste is just... Mm -mm. I'm gonna go with it. Mm -mm. I think things like these, it either has to be really sweet or quite savory. I like savory buns. I hate vegetables, but this is really good. This is you hate perfect. vegetables? <laughs> yeah. I hate anything healthy. <laughs> mm. The last one is called... Bulgogi hoppang. Hey, my favorite word. Or one of my favorite words in Korean. Bulgogi. Bulgogi. I know that yeah. word. Mm. <laughs> Let's go and try. Yay. I'm okay. scared though because when I get my hopes up, I usually know. that's the one that's awful. Bulgogi hoppang? Hmm. No, it's not good. I don't know how I feel about this one. Mm. This one's a little weird. It reminds me of um, Sloppy Joe's. You know what Sloppy Joe's are? Uh -uh. It's like meat in the sauce, and you have these two hamburger buns, and you... It's kind of gross, too, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's gooey. <laughs> I don't think bulgogi is supposed to be gooey. And the color's off, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, I like bulgogi, I like yatsé, I like hot, but I don't like these bread. I have to say, though, that in terms of the overall flavor, the last one's my favorite. But in terms of sentimental value, I really like this one. Mm, okay. I'm done. Mm. Yeah, me too. So, so what do you guys think that Koreans like to have hopbang during winter? Because it's warm. Don't eat hopbang. Eat, eat, eat bungobang. It's better. Don't waste <laughs> no, your time with hopbang. Get, get on the street and get a better bungobang. Because they're very warm and they're an easy meal, I guess. Maybe when you're cold, you don't want to move around too much. And very easy to get. Mm -hmm. And very cheap. Joyo wa? Kodomotsan? Ichimaseyo! I don't know what to do. <laughs>